a small comment of the membership of the CIS, please. There is a, a section there dedicated only to the membership. What we're looking there for is we want to sign that and we are at your disposal in this summons. Before I finish, I thank you for the presence of these speakers, and I also invite our audience to follow the activities of Laxo and LACIS who are working in this same program. I thank very deeply the team of LAFIS and Laxo who make this possible. Thank you very much. And that was the <laughs> introduction of the director on this section. And now, if I pass on the, the mic to Pablo Romano, please, if you wish to address with us a few words. Yes, thank you. I have got the camera. They tell me I cannot turn it on. So I apologize. Good day. Good day to all, everybody. But they tell me I cannot. Oh, yes. Yes, the camera is on now. The host has actually Thank you very much. Ah, thank you, Miguel Angel. Thank you, everybody. My name, as you well know, Pablo Romano. I'm director for research of Glaxo, and I come the uh, regards of Karina Mariani, our executive director, who, of course, is up to date with all this collaboration of the summons, especially. And she's been along the whole process. And because of the reasons of her agenda, she's not present today. But she sent you her regards, Dr. Gallina and Dr. Vallarca, so that you please can pass on those regards. For Glaxo, it is an honor to be able to accompany you and continue to collaborate in Guidesis, with whom there's a, a very good relationship for many years and different collaborations. We even were present at the headquarters of the CIS in different opportunities, and we were there presently carrying out events presently again, and several activities virtually uh, linked to editorial topics, diffusion, deployment, and the alliance with the group, the working group of Glaxo in the pension system and social security, whom I also welcome, of course, because I'm sure that some of the people they are integrated here in this in this meeting and are actually rejoicing as we are and be able to launch publicly the summons of this joint work of SLASIS and Glaxo Provisional Systems focus on gender progresses and uh, delays for American Latin America and the Caribbean. For us it is a must to be able to work here. Linked to the provisional systems of course that no doubt uh, constitute one of the main points of the public discussion in several Latin American countries. Recently, we had discussions uh, of debates in Chile, Brazil, Uruguay, just a few weeks ago, in Argentina, in Mexico, and in different countries of Central America, Honduras, uh, Costa Rica, etc. So it's an ongoing discussion, Latin American and for the Caribbean as the summons indicates, and precisely, we believe that it is necessary to, to have this discussion from stemming from the production of rigorous knowledge based on evidence, because it is a discussion that obviously many times comes from uh, prejudices or bias or lack of information in public. And we believe that if we discuss this here from a focus of social welfare, we believe that, of course, intersectional or linking the provisional systems with the equality of gender or the focus on jury is related to trying to look for this multidisciplinary activity that uh, tackles this with a redesign on social security, on public policies, and social pacts or agreements that will help to social living and more democratic uh, situations in Latin America and the Bolivia. I told you that the pandemic replaced these uh, discussions and then post-pandemic as well in the society. We're actually now living with different challenges at economic level because we are in another 
crisis moment where there's a war going on and redefinition of the multilateral policies, but we are also at a moment of great challenges, political ones, social ones, cultural ones, where the equality continues to be, or shall I say, it's more than a, it's a goal and lack of equality that are growing is a important point that many times get these problems to risk to think about social welfare for the great social majorities and not so much that they can reproduce rather privileges and lack of equalities yes so to be able to incorporate academic studies that are rigorous scientific ones as well more linked to public policies which is as singular think of this someone's end of the cooperation between CIS and Glaxo. Not to think about the academy per se, but an academy that will produce uh, knowledge with dialogue and with the public policy and with the civil society. And being aware of that, that's why this someone carries two categories, uh, which I'll, you will tell us, I guess, in a few moments, and different possibilities of participation and opposition. And I recovered this this uh, link and different studies show precisely that the disadvantages or the equalities of gender are more and more more serious or more important in the different regions even though we have had uh, progresses in policies in general and progress in being equal we have got lack of equalities or we have at least identified them there so i I then say hello to this nice initiative between the CIS and Glaxo, and I feel certain that these summons will not only provide different positions with projects of excellent quality, but also the final selection. There, we shall also have a type of work of the of what of the projects were were selected, the five that have been presented in the second modularity and the nine proposals, and four of them for the first modality, so as not to get confused, and then five in the second one, so we shall have nine as a total, nine rigorous projects and of high impact and high incidence. So I would invite you to get integrated into this summons that has got a day then to get registered up to the 19th of June, about a month and a half, right? And I say hello again, and I congratulate everybody here, the colleagues of CIS. I did um, speak about Dr. Velarca, and I wish to mention also Vanessa Stover, the general director for projects of the CIS, Lourdes Jimenez Brito, who is a researcher in the area of uh, care and social security of the CIS. We've been working with both of them in formulating or elaborating these summons. And then Carlos Contreras Cruz, who is also a researcher in the this legal aspects or controller aspect. You have all my support, all my effort, collective also from Glaxo, just round it up and I am aware that uh, Teresa Ortega is there as an emerging from a collective action of Glaxo that is working to keep and de deploy now and multiply this summon so that we get to have lots of positions and that the final projects that are chosen are successful. Thank you very much, and we shall continue to work together. Thank you very much, Pablo, and we now give the mic to Lourdes Brito, who is a researcher in this for projects and research. Thank you very much. Good day, everybody, and good afternoon, who are connected from the South Cone. I am Lourdes Brito, researcher in uh, these policies and social security at the CIS. Just like my colleagues who were who spoke before me, I feel very, very happy to be here. And as you can imagine, there's lots of work behind, many months of planning, coordination, and get to agreements between Glaxo and this conference. 
to be able to launch today these summons with progresses, uh, uh, progress on Jerry and also belief. I wish to thank the General Secretary of the conference and Laura Teles, Executive of Claxo, Karina also, because both people, for them, the agenda of care and traditional systems focus on gender are key aspects in their administration. You might wonder, and you might ask yourself, what are the objectives? Why are we going to launch this summons, which perhaps uh, focus on gender? What we actually look for, one from the conference and Glaxo, is to place on the discussion the different obstacles to which the great majority of women are faced in Latin America and the Caribbean. And when they get to the old age, they face many, many vacuum spaces, which is not the same for men uh, to carry out a job. And when we speak about provisional uh, situations, we are talking about some type of attention. As you well know, the traditional uh, aspects are only but one, one, one of the most important ones of the different fringe benefits that are given in the different systems of social security. And why do we consider that this is a key topic? What is the relationship that we see between the traditional systems and a care system? This is a topic we have, shall, we have been working very strongly in the last few years as part of the conference. And like to another institution, even though the women have actually worked and developed lots of work on care and domestic work, and, but the women, when we get to, get to elder age, they usually have no support to have an access to a pension. And this is what lots of people in this region have called the paradox relationship between care and social security. Women work 10, 20, 30, 40 years of their life looking after a home without having any protection from the systems of secure social security. In this given case, we wish to place here on the table for discussion this relationship between the work that they carry out for years, that is, these women, and the obstacles and challenges, and how they are excluded from the traditional benefits in all the region. We wish to look or try to analyze the relationship and discuss and provide evidence between this relationship of lack of the lack of access of women to a pension and the care work as was explained. We also have got lots of expectations, of course, as regards given objectives that are specific. In other words, with this summons, we wish to check these institutions that are very important in Latin America and the Caribbean, such as Laxo, but also promote and recognize the domestic or home job and care that the women carry out during their life. Specifically, how is it that this job has been, has historically, sorry, been uh, individualized and has been excluded from recognition from society and specifically in this case, of professional services or pension. And then, of course, there's a key topic here, and that is to provide a critical vision based on evidence of the design of the system of social security in general, and specifically the pension systems. As we have been saying, not only they not consider uh, with uh, paid work carried out by women, to the social security system, but also they have not either recognized their value. In literature, usually you can find, find the phrase that it's very hard to accept, but with a high dose of reality that we women subsidize sometimes, many times of social systems. And now, uh, Pablo de Maro, uh, the research for Glaxo, the different modalities that we've got in these uh, summons that we are launching today. And very quickly, we are going to wait now for the proposals of different research projects, either individual ones or in team, teams of up to three persons, respecting, of course, the proportion between women and men in the participation of these objectives. The first modality here would be individual participation or the in 
uh, research team with a link with one of various members of the Claxo network. To participate, we need some type of professional link, right? With a member of Claxo. And you, you might ask, how am I going to do it? How am I going to do it as a member? Or how is this Claxo network interfere or help us? There you will able to refine these listings of objectives. I have to make it clear that under this modality, we can have a mix teams of researchers, that is men and women, where people not only have got some type of link with members of Claxo, but they can be affiliated to the CIS. And that is therefore leads us to the second modality, which is an institutional participation of people who are part of the social security institutions that are affiliated to the CIS. And also in our webpage, you can find the different um, job that has been carried out in the last few years of who actually are part of the CISSS. So now as an example, to exemplify who are the institutions that are members in the case of Mexico, the IMS, and in Argentina says, in another country, social security, in Ecuador, cell, and that's where they work. And those are things you can find them in our webpage, the totality of the members of the conference. In other words, just to put it in simple words, people who actually wish to present themselves, they can uh, do it under the first modality to be affiliated in this flag. So of course, on the basis of the summons, you will find all the requirements regarding academic activity, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But of course, also, I think the difference here the added, in the added value of this link between Claxo, as Pablo said, we're also here having, we're concentrating on the institutional social security that implement policies that implement also or apply a traditional system, focus on gender, and we hope that they will have the particip specific participation on the this. Someone. The important dates for you to write them in your agenda, please. Those who wish to uh, participate, closing the registration will be 19 June 2022. We've got lots of time for the, to prepare the proposals, which will be published in the month of July. And the project will have a temporary duration between July to Mar 2023 to March 2024. It is along those months that the research teams, if they had a proposal that won, that that person should actually carry out that research. And as they usually done in this type of summons, that they should go along with teachers from Claxo and from the conference so we can work with that research during those months. There will be a final presentation of the result. At, in March 2024, and the result will be presented in the website of Claxo and the conference. So I would ask you to pay attention if you've got any concerns or any queries. Once I've given the basis, if you have any type of concerns or questions, please write to it's written there in Spanish, Sistema Provisionales, and you saw it on screen. These are already in the web page uh, of Claxo and CIS, and you can see on screen the different uh, types of links. Thank you very much. And we encourage everybody who are here in these launches to check the summons to carry out, or to make the questions and get put up together teams so that you can actually work on a proposal. I didn't say it explicitly, but you can, there are fellowships and there are support for those who might be able winners, all right? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ms. Brito. And now the mic is Ms. Ortega uh, for Director of Research for Claxo. Teresa, go ahead, please. Thank you very much, good day. This joy or that is in this summoning area, we've got this topic, which is a simulating topic for Claxo. 
and tell you a little bit about what the process is like and how you can postulate people. This is done online. We ask, we would invite you to read the summons, which is not only in the chat of this conference, but also you can find it in different Claxo webs. And that it implies registering yourself online, registering the proposal, sorry, online, and as the first step to open up a questionnaire. In that questionnaire, you can you have to fill in the name, academic data, or position, or the experience of the team, etc. There should be a coordinator, either female or male, and they will open that questionnaire. And inside that questionnaire, they register the members of the team, of course, or it can be an individual. And then later, once you fill this out, you have a questionnaire where you can upload your proposals of research, all right? It's pretty easy. You can actually access as many times as you want, how many times you require it. And it is not a questionnaire that is difficult to fill out, but also we are always attentive to your con concerns or consultation that can get to the mail, uh, robertclaxo.com. Uh, .r. That's the email we've got to answer all types of concerns, and that we're always there, right? Providing uh, consulting services so you can actually finish your registration online. And then later, there's a stage when we close the registration process, there's a technical assessment stage where we check that all the teams have actually complied with the different minimum criteria to participate. In other words, they have complied with the requirements of the summons. And once we have done this, those teams that did not uh, comply, then they they will not go to the next stage. And then we have an assessing board or committee, which is made by experts in mathematics. And they actually receive or accept online. It's a system that we have put together for so many years and the different proposals. In other words, the assessor or the evaluator does not know who the members are. He actually assesses or evaluates the pertinence of uh, solvency and how valid the proposal might be. After that, once the committee or board has evaluated the proposals, they are put together and we go on to a next step, which would be a more qualitative assessment. And of course, considering the different uh, rating or ratings that they got to get to the exam and they get there to an agreement of GACSO. And since once we are to the exam, we inform you via email and via the networks, and we inform who are the winners. And of course, then we have covered the whole process. This process of fellowships or scholarships in GACSO is not a process where you just hand over the support. No, no, no. It is a pedagogical process. It's a, a process where we accompany you with the tutors and we ourselves, of course, in the Department of Research of Claxo, we provide some type of assistance that is customized to each one of the different research projects to get to the very end and hand over in time and form the final report. And you shall see there in the summons the different products that we have requested. Yes. And then later, having done that, after this process, we have virtual meetings and we have the conversation with the tutors and with the researchers, etc. And it is important. Why? Because it creates an identity of the summons. And then we, do, we know already that what this group is and what we generate in the community according to the semantics, which is very, very, very important, very enriching. So not only is that we have we got that invitation, but 
to dream to be part of this whole process that will end in the publication of a document where we present this publicly, we present the results publicly, and then perhaps later the library of public access. So I believe it is a very, very nice opportunity and the joy we feel in, in ourselves of accompanying the different teams and the commitment of everybody. And we are anxious that everybody can start so we can get the dynamics going that commits us. We wish to invite you to participate in the proposals. Once again, we are open to answer all your concerns. Thank you. Thank you so much, Teresa. And now we give the floor to Carlos Contreras. Good morning. Good evening. As they have mentioned, this is a great step that jointly between the social uh, CS and the, commi the committee, we are trying to address a subject matter that is still current. Uh, as long as this situation is not 100% resolved, we would like to address, we would like to contribute with ideas in order to address this great issue gender equity, but we are not starting from scratch. We had a preamble in order to reach this momentum where we are starting to develop a collective work of great dimensions. It's a document that you see in your screen. Kindly, our uh, colleagues that are managing the chat are going to be sharing the link where you can find in the web page of the CIS, technical note 19, provisional systems with a gender approach, Latin America and the Caribbean, a matter of e equity. We launched this last September in the CIS. We worked together with the Institute of Economic research in Mexico, the Latin American Committee of Social Sciences and the CIS. Uh, it's very relevant to have a joint multidisciplinary work in order to find solutions for this great issue, because as they have mentioned, the gender dimension in institutional systems has been disregarded. We you will see this in the first step in technical note 19, that there are classical paradigms in the social systems. Some of them have the old paradigm of Bismarck, where uh, benefits were offered to people that have a dependency relationship. But a recent paradigm where it is thought that maybe people are consumers of markets that are apparently competitive. And governments have to intervene in order to solve the problems that are presented in those markets. No matter what is the paradigm that you are studying, the rights of people, specifically women, are being disregarded. Therefore, we have identified some small changes in some provisional systems around Latin America, where they have considered, for example, the characteristics of the uh, job market and the social uh, security aspects can be considered in order to balance these inequities that we have mentioned. So in this first technical note, we have studied 14 countries where there are at least five groups of compensatory mechanisms from the differentiated contribution system, a differentiated age of retirement between men and women, a maternity bonus in five countries, 
and in two of them, the use of joint mortality tables trying to balance the difference between life expectancy between men and women. And four countries where they have implemented mechanisms that try to recognize non-remunerated work like domestic work, and they have set for very creative mechanisms like the addition of an individual account uh, vis-a-vis -vis a divorce, like the case of Chile. And this is a small step that together we have done in order for all of you to be part of this collaborative work where we are expecting to move forward in order to address gender inequity issues in our continent. Thank you so much. So please send your uh, proposals to this joint summon. Thank you so much. Carlos Contreras, thank you so much. We have now a round of Q&A. We have two questions. The first question, it is necessary that proposals have to be focused in the study of one of more than one country. The second question, if we are talking, if we're working in a public university that is not being supported by CLACs or disease, can we be part of it? Let me answer. The proposals can be focused on analyses or studies per country or in different levels of the government. In a provisional system, we have decentralization systems, or they can present studies per region. So we urge you to consider these two modalities. It is true that in the basis of the summon or the call-up uh, that we will present to you briefly, we have considered the fact that there are some group of countries, specifically in the Caribbean and in the Anglo-Caribbean, that they know a little bit about these problems. So we would like to invite you to focus on uh, those areas of opportunity to learn more about what is happening in some regions, countries, or territories, because many of them are part of the uh, CIS conference. And we, the, the Anglo-speaking Caribbean needs a lot of information about these subject matters, but According to the basis, you can present your proposal, focus on only one country or in different countries of uh, the Latin American and the Caribbean. Carla, would you like to uh, answer the second question? Yes. All the knowledge that can be provided is welcome. However, as they have mentioned, as coordinators of this call-up that you can uh, thoroughly review in the CLACSO and in the CIS web pages, at least one of the persons, the leader of the team, has a link with one of the working groups of CLACSO or another institution's link to the social security systems. Thank you for these answers. Then regarding the first item, I would like to elaborate on that. This summon is open to works that were presented in official languages of the CIS and CLACSO. So we accept works in English, Spanish, French, and Portuguese. So feel free to present your proposal in the language of your preference. I think that we have no more questions. However, I would like to present to you in the chat some information. If you have additional questions regarding this subject matter, you can send an email to sistemas previsionales, small caps, at 
claxo.edu.r, where they are going to answer your questions. In the chat, you see the link to consult the summon or the call up. You can send an email in case you have additional questions. Would you like to add something? I would like to clarify something about the, the link with the, the member center of Claxo. When we mentioned that they should have a link with a member center, we refer to the fact that you can be a teacher, research assistant, student, helper. So it's not only uh, necessary to be a teacher, it is open to a host of possibilities for every center. So my recommendation is to ask directly to your center because in the moment of their enrollment, you don't need any document. Only the winning teams should present the endorsement letter of the member center. So please approach the member centers. For those that were asking about the fact that they don't have a link, they can uh, form a team and to approach to an individual that has a link to the a member center, and then you can apply that. So it, you can understand the word or the term link with different meanings. If you have additional questions, you can use the chat of Q&A and the chat in itself. As Tere was mentioning and Lourdes was mentioning, it is important to know that these jo joint initiatives are uh, aiming to generate knowledge and to generate networks. In the call-up, you see that uh, we invite different profiles to be part of that. So uh, uh, researchers with uh, post-graduate studies and also students can be welcome. You can take advantage of this summit in order to have a lot of networking in order to generate more knowledge. What about the panelists? Would you, would you like to add some additional information? Yes, I would like to show to all the audience how this call-up is being presented. It is uploaded in the Claxo website, and they are going to be part of the platforms for social dialogue. When you enter, you see the link in the chat. You will see the important uh, dates, all the research that has been done, that it's important for you to put uh, conceptual framework for your uh, research, different modalities. As we mentioned, you can see what are the CLACSO member centers and what are the different institutions that today are part of the conference membership. And you will see the main access for the research according to the modality you will define if it's going to be by a, a member center of Claxo or a member center from the CIS. Uh, these are the rules of the contest. You will see the requirements to take part. What are the supports that are going to be granted in every case? And of course, the selection criteria. Teresa already mentioned about that the features for the research work, extensions, and so forth. So in once you have defined your proposal, you click 
this part and then you go directly to the platform that looks like this. Provisional matters with a gender approach. You will create your password and then you fill out step by step all the um, call up. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lourdes, Vanessa, Pablo, Teresa, Carlos. Thank you so much for your presentations. And in order to wrap up, we would like to invite the audience to take part in all these summons. I think that when you work in an international agency, you wonder what is the main role of the international agencies? How do we have an impact in uh, the different institutions that take part of our membership with a specialized knowledge and the technical knowledge are going to be shared. And then we, we promote enhances and improvements. So I think that with this initiative, we can contribute to uh, redesign the idea of institutions. This idea was focused on macroeconomic matters instead of social matters like gender equity. So this is a great opportunity to have a critical impact in the international discussion. And as Pablo mentioned, in order to uh, have an impact in public policies and to have an impact in a public problem. Uh, so we are open to receive your questions, your comments, and thank you all. And have a great day. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you so much and see you soon.